All right, it's starting to come up to December, but a lot of pros are training, and I was looking at some power data, and I was thinking for next year, like spring classics, who's gonna be there, who's not gonna be there. And I thought myself, you know what, Valgren's changing teams, he's a bit of a legend, and I thought, let's have a recap of Valgren, what he did last season, and why I think he's gonna be an absolute hitter next season. Omelette head knees, but first proper classic of the year. Should Here he goes, Valgren on the attack, as you can see, absolutely fine. Video, I'm not gonna show too seconds. much footage, because I don't want it to get I'll taken down. Again. Anyway, Valgren basically just solos it all the way in. Um, you can see here he's just absolutely so, flying about 550, 600 watts at this moment in time. And, there was no and chase. just flying off. Lovely shoot Colorado covers as well. Behind. Teammates are there, two teammates there. The and and no cheerio. Chase. Valgren goes on, uh, takes this corner. This, uh, and you can see here Valgren takes it easy basically you, in the end and wins it. Next race, I'm still gold. Again, same thing. Elite group. Sagan's there. Kroizig is there. And look at this. He just does a huge attack. Suddenly, 1,000 watt surge and just starts riding full speed. Again, teammates there for Astana. Cheerio. Um, he finally, uh, Kroizig managed to catch up with him. Gasparot is chasing. Um, but yeah, he wins the sprint easily. So anyway, have a look at this quick Strava recently. So right, you can see... Uh, well, actually, we'll, we'll go back to the final thing. So anyway, this is his Strava from... Uh, on the knees, but it looks like he covers it, but he doesn't cover it. Anyway, here you can see he's just freewheeling here. Suddenly sees, oh, it's the time to go. 1,100 watt, 1,082 watt burst, holds 600 around here. And then you can see a ground the corner surges back up and just holds it. If we look at the point where from where he tacked to the end, 476 watts, 485 watts for the last two minutes um, is basically what makes you win these races. So solid intervals again. Uh, and then we can have a look at Omla, um not so that was when we had knee spot and uh this is i'm still gold again similar thing riding up this climb he went with one attack sort of realized it wasn't going to happen and then this was it big attack and then again riding 500 watts um little rest playing around cat and mouse and then big sprint at the end so you can see again this effort here is about 460 watts for two minutes 40 but you can see throughout the day all these mini efforts that happen here um we can sort of go into some of the climbs here Again, six minutes at 334 watts. That's not, that's not, you know, it's not mega, but it still would hurt at the end of the day. Again, um, it's just all these little climbs that he'll go up throughout the day. Um, you can see here again, 336 for four minutes. Um, and same with, uh, umlet, not umlet, but these sort of climbs here again, 300 watts here. Um, towards the end, these short, stop, steep climbs. Um, again, 472 watts for three minutes 15. So, anyway, Michael Valgren's power. Then he posted this ride today. Um, we can look at the laps here to see basically what laps he was doing, but unfortunately the power doesn't... Oh, no, the power does come. Uh, so you can see he's basically doing these reps at 400, 450 to 500 watts. Again, two-minute intervals, four minutes off, two minutes on, two minutes off, two minutes on, half an hour rest, two minutes on, two minutes off, two minutes on, two minutes off. You can see, though, he's doing all these at a real high wattage of 440 watts, and that's really what it takes, I guess, to be a Spring Classics rider. He's going to be doing these intervals pretty early early on in the season, then have a solid January. He always goes to down under normally um, and, you know, has a solid January. Uh, and he's looking good, to be honest. Uh, I think he's going to have a great season next year. Uh, Dimension Data, I don't think they're the best team, for it, to be honest. They never seem to do very well. Do they have the right infrastructure in place? Um, potentially not. But um, you can see here he likes to ramp up the miles in December. You can see he hasn't really trained properly. For the, and since, well, I guess he started again in December, early November. He's now starting to hit some solid intervals, and I guess his main main time of year he needs to be hitting form is between about here, end of March, and uh, end of April. So anyway, cheers for watching. I hope you did enjoy this quick video about Michael Valgren, why I think he's going to do well, what sort of training he's doing. So if you have any spring classics racing, this is sort of what you want to be doing. Five hours with some brutal intervals in it. So anyway, cheers for watching. I hope you did enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one.